G'day everyone and welcome back to another day in the shed. So we are down to our last, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cameras. So yeah, the last 13 out of 74 or whatever it was, so it's been a hell of a long journey. Uh, been a lot of fun. We've found some really cool cameras and also some pretty crappy ones, so... You get that though. Um, if you're watching the video for the first time, uh, I brought, yeah, 74 cameras uh, online, basically sight on scene. So one whole collection. Um, and yeah, just been opening them up. I was doing it four at a time, but I was getting a bit, um, a bit bored with that. So a bit impatient. So I thought I'd start opening up the last two lots uh, in one go. So here we go, let's. Let's have a look. So here we go, last of the cameras. Uh, let's start with this fella. It's pretty cool, we've got a Konica Auto S2 uh, with a 45mm f1.8 Nice looking camera A Fujika STX1 This one has a Fuji non 50mm f1.9, so that's probably a pretty nice lens. Always seem to like Fuji lenses. This one's also got film in it, so I'll have to finish it off. Once I've heard this brand before, a Kowa, Kowa Color, Japanese made, pretty cool looking camera, got an inbuilt light meter, and it comes with a 48mm f2.8 as well. Let's open up some of that. So far so good, Olympus OM-1, that is pretty sweet, this one goes up to a 1600th of a second, so definitely a nice camera this one, in all black which is pretty cool, uh, what else have we got, with a 50mm f1.8 lens, and it looks pretty clean just quickly. It's definitely a nice camera, that one. And it's got a shutter speed. I don't know. Hang on. Well, the lens is limited to a thousand or something. This camera's heavy. Minolta AL and I was extraordinarily close to dropping that then with a 45mm f2 another pretty sweet looking camera let's go this far Minolta 
and ALF. And this one has a 38mm f2.7, so a bit wider. Rather interesting. We've got a Wales W A L Z Envoy thirty five. This one also has a film in it by the looks. I've heard of accessories from this brand, but not cameras. So I don't know if it's a common brand or not. But I've got one now. So it's also got a forty eight mil f one point nine. Nice looking camera. Looks like it's in really good condition, which is cool. A few scuffs underneath from when they've put it on the tripod. Another Minolta. Hymatic 9. So I've got a couple of the Hymatic 7s. And this one has a 1.7 um, 48mm, 45mm. So that's pretty cool. I'll take him out. It's got a few notes underneath. This is only a little fella. Another Minolta. Hymatic G. This is a very small camera. With a 35mm, sorry, 38mm f2.8. So quite a fast lens for a little point and shoot like this. Pretty cool. And then we've got a Canon QL. Wonder if it's 1.7 or 1.9. 1.9. So 45mm f1.9. And these are really good cameras if they work. And it has a film in it, so it's a good sign. But a lot of these have uh, electronics problems. So when they are, when they do work, they're definitely worth hanging on to. Last three cameras. I'll go the folding camera. That's an old fella. Uses 120 film, so it's, which is good. It's not one of those random. I'm trying to figure out how to open it. Like that. An old Kodak. Pretty cool. Don't want to break it. Might have to look up how to use it so I don't break it. Yeah, anyway, it'll be interesting to know how old that one is.
Another pretty small camera, similar size to that Minolta <clears throat> iMatic at the front there. And we've got an Electro 35MC. Yashika, this is about as compact as you get in a 35mm. And my hands are definitely way too small for the, sorry, way too big for this thing. Anyway, 40mm f2.8. Have a look at the size difference in some of these. It's pretty crazy. Pocket size, that one. We've got Lucky Last. Hope it's good. And it's not. But anyway, that's okay. Topcon Wink S Mirror. That is a funny name. There's a lot going on there. Anyway. So that's all the cameras. All done. And uh, yeah, as I said at the start of the video, I've definitely had some pretty cool cameras like that. OM1's pretty nice. Uh, this fella's pretty nice. And I've had, yeah, heaps of really cool cameras um, over the last, I think it's been maybe 12 or 13 videos, something like that. But uh, yeah, definitely some ones I'd prefer not to... I mean, but anyway, you get that when you buy things online without really looking. All right, well, thanks for joining me over the last couple of months as I've gone through these cameras. And I might have a few random videos um, coming out if I shoot any of them. Uh, or maybe even just an overview if I can put them all in one place at one time. All right, see you later, guys.